I'm Glenn Howerton, and I am doing a new show called AP Bio. I play a guy named Jack Griffin. It's on Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., 7.30 Central. It's on NBC. It's great. Check it out. But I'm going to answer some questions. Apparently, there's some uh, fan theories about It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and uh, I'm here to answer some of those questions. First of all, nothing about what you just said sounds like you're talking about a comedy. <laughs> this is a comedy show we're talking about, right? Um, yeah, no, it's a very interesting theory. Uh, I, I love it, you know, keep them coming, you know, you gotta, you gotta think that way. They're, if people go back and watch every episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, they're gonna be, be able to, um, there's clues all throughout the series, so you know, you'll be very rewarded by watching the show over and over again. And if you can, you know, really do a number on this thing, you'll be able to figure out the mysteries to not only the show and the characters on the show, but the world. I would say that anything's possible. Uh, do those shows take place in the same universe or not? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. No, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, no, but yes. And is he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. No. Uh, but maybe. Yeah, that's a great theory. Um, it is terrific. Uh, however, AP Bio was not written, I did not write AP Bio, and that script was written long before I ever um, came on board the show. So I hate to sit here and give definitive answers to any of these theories because it's really fun having that stuff out there. But I gotta say, on this one, that's just, uh, that is not the case. That is not the case. Thank you.